Yo, what's up, dude? It's your boy, Eagle Brother, and I'm back with episode number 19 of my Borderlands 2 Legendary Weapons Guide. And today, guys, we're going to be going over the Stormfront Grenade Mod. In my case, we have the Lob Stormfront. In your case, the variation might be different. We did get an OP-10 Stormfront. The drop in the gameplay is actually an OP-9, but the gameplay towards the end is going to be OP-10. level 10. This thing is an absolute beast, so, of course, we're going to be showing you how to unlock the Stormfront, who you need to farm, and show you guys the gameplay at the end. To get the Stormfront, you are going to need to complete a mission called the splinter group that you will find here at the sanctuary bounty board and that's going to take you over to one of our favorite places in the game uh you know a little sarcasm there bloodshot stronghold this is actually my least favorite spot in the game because there's just freaking enemies any everywhere uh, and we're going to be farming the teenage mutant ninja turtles easter egg mini bosses we got lee mike dan or ralph so you guys could just follow this route here. This will show you how to get to these guys. And since there are four, each of them do have a chance to drop it. But really cool Easter egg. If you guys are familiar with the Ninja Turtles, then you guys will definitely like this uh, little Easter egg here. But just pay attention. You have a lot of rats running around. So you could get absolutely torched, which I just did there. But it's all right. We made it out. So you're going to come across all four of them. You can see Lee. The first one does drop the Stormfront for us. But any of them does have a chance to drop the Stormfront, not necessarily the very first one that uh, shows up here. So we're going to take these two out just to make sure. And let me know in the comments below. I know sometimes they have dropped two in one run. So I'm curious if that has happened to you guys. Let me know in the comments below. But this is how you get the Stormfront. And now let's jump into some of the gameplay. The Stormfront is a legendary area of effect grenade mod manufactured by Vladoff. In Borderlands 2, it's obtained randomly from any suitable loot source, but has an increased chance to drop from Lee, Mike, Dan, or Ralph. Located in Bloodshot Stronghold. Again, guys, you can farm all four of them. They all do have a chance to drop this gun. It is also in the pre-sequel, but of course, we're not talking about the pre-sequel in this one. The special grenade affects the red tech says, Sometimes lightning does strike twice. Deploys a Tesla grenade, then launches multiple smaller range, lower damage child Tesla grenades and an even distribution around the deployment point. Child grenades can stick to walls and other non-horizontal surfaces. So you guys can see it kind of creates a barrier of just absolute beast shock damage, and it will only come in shock. So when it comes to shields, we are in OP-10. It is absolutely shredding these shields, man. And also, I know there are some class uh, or some characters like, let's say, Axton, I think has uh, some grenade damage buffs that you can spec into. Might even be some grenade damage in Krieg. I'm not 100% sure, but I know the Commando definitely does have the grenade damage buff. And man, if you have that run with this thing, you guys are going to absolutely melt through your enemies. Now, the usage and description is pretty long. Uh, but as I was, of course, going through this, man, you guys can see here, the shields are absolutely getting torched. Some of these these kind of lower level enemies are getting getting taken out pretty quickly. I don't like the Goliath and stuff. You know, of course, it's going to take a little bit to, to take those out in OP-10. But man, uh, these this freaking, this is one of my favorite grenade mods. If you guys have nostalgia going on with Borderlands 2, you'll definitely know the Stormfront. It's one of the best ones that we've used back in the day and of course one of my favorite ones to get this also is going to be very helpful when you are pairing this up with the grog nozzle as well so if you're in a lot of fire and you're running the grog nozzle and you have the storm front up the storm front's going to do consistent damage so it's just going to keep healing you left and right i don't know if you guys have noticed but even though i'm taking a lot of damage uh, the grog nozzle paired with the storm front is just pretty much healing me as as this grenades out so you're almost infinite health at that point but of course you just got to keep an eye out for that when the grenade mod does go away but when you do pair it with the grog nozzle or even the ruby uh preferably the grog nozzle but uh if you do pair it with either one of those then your health is just going to consistently be uh, replenished when you have the storm front out because it's just going to do all that consistent shock damage but anyway guys man that was the episode again amazing grenade mod you guys definitely want to run this try it out for yourself if you haven't tried this out before, definitely give it a shot. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.